Now, there's been some rumors here that you go dumpster diving. <laughs> Yes, I brought you my little gloves, <laughs> oh my and you gosh. can actually borrow some gloves okay, too if cool. you wanted to come with me. All right, let's do this. <laughs> we don't have a dumpster here. Maybe we could go and the, look through the, the garbage. garbage. Bins. <laughs> oh, maybe we could see if the re recycling bins have any food in it. So actually, this is what I do. So uh, I wear my gloves. Okay. You see, you can wear your gloves. Here we go. We I like my little. How little how print. fancy are that? So I make sure everything's looking fancy. Mine are a little more used, <laughs> okay. but yours are really fancy. Yes, I'm just starting out. I'm and a, there a you go. And I like to go into restaurants. Uh, um, stores, whatever. I go into the back and I actually, friends hate me now because I go into their bins as well. And <laughs> so I go into the bin and I pull out stuff that could have been used to be eaten. And I don't cook it because God knows that's disgusting. Yes. Okay, good. I don't. Thank you for clearing I don't. that I absolutely up. don't. But I actually do it as an educational tool because people think, no, I can't use this. Um, I, I went to this restaurant in um, Pretoria. I was mm -hmm. doing something for a radio station up there. And uh, the restaurant owner said, you're not going to find anything. We don't waste a thing. Ha! We had a good that time. That was a mistake. That I is think, the for biggest to mistake say. to say to me ever, because <laughs> I actually found lots of stuff, and it was really fun. And everyone was so surprised because they're like, "Whatever, how, how do you do that?" And I'm going to show you one thing. So yeah. I brought you these beets. So okay. in most grocery stores today, yes. I'm not going to name names. <laughs> they cut them off right here. So they have all these beautiful beets in Hessian bo mm -hmm. boxes and and sort of loose and everything. We've come a long way because this used to be ten years ago when I first arrived here. Uh, beets, we found beetroot, we found already cooked in these plastic bags and already oh, peeled. Yeah. So that's a lot more waste. So these beets, I have them growing in my garden, and the greens have more value than the beet themselves. And so you can actually use this like you do. This is a bit dead because it's been three days that I've had them out, sorry. <laughs> but, um, but refrigerate them. So you can actually cut this up and treat it like it's spinach. And you can saute really? it with ginger and garlic and onions. And it's really yummy. And you can use that. Or you can use it, uh, you can just put it back in water and they'll get nice and beautiful again because uh -huh. it's just losing moisture. Okay. And you can use it as uh, greens in a salad. It's a little more bitter, but it's still really yummy. And people use kale all the time. I roast this up as well, make little chips chips like kale chips yeah so that's really good and you could actually I never knew that there you go you learned something I today learned something. <laughs> <laughs> not only about dumpster diving and then this <laughs> other one this is actually kind of fun because broccoli uh, broccoli cauliflower I'm now forgetting my veggies so you're not used to finding cauliflower like this it, this is how you find the garden and actually yeah. in globally we waste more cauliflower leaves than the actual cauliflower itself really we throw out more weight in cauliflower leaves than the cauliflower itself. So these leaves, believe it or not, I don't know if you like Brussels sprouts. I but, do. Okay, well if you like Brussels sprouts, you love this. So I take take it off the the sort of stem part, yeah. and I put a little sea salt, olive oil, and I crisp them up in the oven, and I eat them like chips as a snack. And it's really healthy. It's much healthier than even the vegetable itself, though the vegetable is yummy. And um, so that's great. And the ribs I keep, and I keep it in the freezer. And um, all the ribs and all the little peelings and everything, I mm -hmm. keep for it to the end of the week. And then I just throw them in with a little bit of water and a little uh, um, parsley bits and peppers and all that stuff. And I make a nice uh, vegetable broth. Oh, that sounds And delicious. then you have vegetable broth to make all kinds of soups and sauces and all that stuff instead of buying the little salty stuff. Yeah. You know, the grains that they buy in the container. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not good. And then you're not wasting any food. Now, these are two common things I think that we all see in the grocery store and we mm. all use at home that we didn't know um, we could actually use the leaves. What are some other common things that we're throwing away um, that can actually be used uh, as a contribution to a meal? Okay, well, the other thing I want to tell you mm. is that none of the stuff should ever be thrown away because mm. even after it's been used and, and whatever, you can actually put it in a compost heap, right? Exactly. And not enough people actually compost. And there's so many different ways you can compost and composting is so much better than putting it in the bin and then into the, into the landfill because mm -hmm. what I explain to people is when you put organic greens like this mm -hmm. into a landfill, you might as well hop in a car and drive around the block a hundred times because you're creating more greenhouse gases mm -hmm. by putting your veggies in a bin, mm -hmm. like the leftovers, than driving a car around the world. I often hear people saying, oh, it doesn't matter if I put the veggies in the bin because, oh. because it will just help the garbage no. decompose. No. Um, at all, because no. it gets squished. Have you right. ever seen that stuff where you, you know, found the hamburger the that hasn't 
um, fallen up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You it, know, the, the, the hamburgers, the McDonald's was, burgers. Like I, was, the, I wasn't going to uh, say McDonald's. Whoops, I was going to say maybe Burger King. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> but it burgers. was buried, and they found it 50 years later, right? Right. Yes. Do you love it? We're going to the ball. We're going to the dumpster yeah. diving ball. <laughs> I'm going to start one of these here. Um, so it's actually best not to put it in the green bin at all at okay. all yeah. um, and if you are going to put it in the bin um, just think of how many uh, horrible me methane gases you're producing we're wow. going to take these off because you're probably hands yeah, yeah. sweaty. <laughs> um, but you know what there's lots of different things uh, celery leaves people throw out mm -hmm. um, and uh, the greens from the leeks um, fennel bulbs all those things you can use them for the base of cooking fish and that gives beautiful flavor instead of throwing them out um, there's uh, chop up the celery leaves Instead of um, using parsley for mm -hmm. a kind of sauce, you can use that for a salsa verde, for example. Chop that up with mm -hmm. parsley and other greens. Carrot tops, I use carrot tops in my salsa verde. I, I do little things like that. That's a finishing sauce for a nice steak. Yeah. Um, I try and use things like that constantly. And if I'm not going to use them, I put them in the freezer into my stock bag.